first problem based on this synchronous motor and generator okay uh this problem appeared in gate 16 uh, if you are not able to see just tell me in the comment section so i hope you are able to see the problem so uh in the problem it is asked although it was for one mark only so uh it is asked that consider a system uh, consisting of a synchronous generator working at a lagging power factor okay so synchronous generator lagging power factor i don't know why my pen is also lagging here and synchronous motor working at an over excited condition over excited what does it refer to over excited it indirectly want to say it is working at leading power factor okay if you derive the equation of reactive power you will get two condition either q would be greater than zero or less than zero if less than zero it means it is delivering the reactive power for motor it is not it is just opposite for the generator here generator is operating at lagging power factor it means it is over excited okay so they tested you your basic concepts of reactive power from this problem and now a di directly grid connected induction generator again induction generator is also so three machine they tested at once So induction generator cannot be over excited because it consumes lot of reactive power. So it would be always under excited. It can give the other machine real power or active power, but it cannot give any reactive power. So that is the drawback of induction motor. And it would be uh induction generator so it would be yeah anubhav you want to ask something yes sir ah huh, please uh, sorry you know over excited means our field generated is more than required yes so yes. how you know that it is leading power factor for motor huh. so synchronous motor is over excited right when it has more uh what to say more reactive power means uh it will have the current uh, let me draw the phasor diagram for that sir huh. uh, for power factor we use tan inverse q by p so as q increases the power factor decreases hmm. 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 so over, From, over excited over huh. excited means more more power more reactive power more reactive power if you recall the v curve or inverted v curve right so there yes, uh, there if you increase the real power uh, sorry reactive power the first of all uh, that power factor angle get decreased and then increases like uh, this type of vehicle if you remember as if and this was cos phi okay so first it would be lag and then it would lead right so uh, this is the case for which uh, motor or generator can you tell me motor sir yeah correct so this is for motor and the inverse of this if you go this way this would be uh, for generator so uh, you have to link in your mind that how uh, you can tackle this type of confusion uh, you should fix it in your mind that how to link lagging power factor over excited and to the machine type of machine right lagging power factor 
generator it would be over excited if you remember for one or understand for one or fix it for one it would be easier for the other machine uh, as of now uh, since i work on motor so i keep in my mind a synchronous motor if it is leading power factor it would be over excited now if generator would come i i will just reverse the situation right in generator lagging power factor over excited leading power factor for generator it would be under excited so anyway if you want to fix it in your mind you do that okay so is it fine uh, yes sir yeah thanks so uh, i was talking about induction generator and it will be under excited always because it has a high you know magnetizing inductance compared to all other machines and it does not have any other supply okay so it would be a uh, lagging power factor you would not see any induction motor operating at leading power factor okay so uh, the problem was uh, regarding uh, consider capacitive wall to be source and inductive wall to be sink okay they tried to you know uh, confuse more uh, like inductive wall to be a sink of reactive power or capacitive wall to be a source of reactive power like uh, you know capacitor can deliver the reactive power and inductor will observe absorb the uh, reactive power okay so now uh, that's why capacitors are sometimes known as condensers or over excited synchronous motors are sometimes known as synchronous condensers so uh, we have to choose which statement is correct synchronous motor and synchronous generators are sources and induction generator is a sink of reactive power so what do you think about this statement uh, is it correct or wrong here it is saying we have to identify about the reactive power source and sink so which one is working as source and which one is working as sink source means which has more sink means which has less they has to receive sink has to receive and source has to deliver so we saw here synchronous generator is over excited so it can deliver so it can work as a source right synchronous motor is also over excited here it can also work as source of reactive power induction generator is under excited so it will act as a sink of reactive power so our option a would be correct in this case fine i guess this graph would be inverted ha huh. right uh, can anybody correct me this graph should be inverted v right yes sir yes sir ha huh. sorry for the mistake uh, let me move on uh, so this was all about synchronous machine uh, till now uh, maybe later i may get some other problems but uh, i think you would have got some idea how to tackle problem sir huh. sir i i want to discuss more on this kind of... yeah tell me please sir uh, if power factor is lagging mm -hmm. it means the armature terminals has to supply more reactive power full motor full motor hmm. uh, so it will uh, it will work as as over excited uh until no no it will work as under excited i showed you know uh armature supplies more reactive armature sub delivers reactive power then it will work as under excited for motor uh no if motor is working as a lagging power factor right so it means it had less reactive power than it required to operate at unity power factor means uh let me tell you this way let me put it that way that armature and field 
these two windings are present in synchronous machine field winding job is to provide all the reactive power to synchronous machine and armature winding job is to provide all the real power to the synchronous machine okay then this synchronous machine would be at unity power factor right because no reactive power is supplied by the armature now let's say uh reactive power provided by field winding is less okay now armature has to compensate for that and to compensate now armature would have two components one is for real power and one is reactive it is this reactive part job was to be done by field winding but it is not able to fulfill his job so now armature should come in action and it should provide the reactive power to the motor right so but this is taking armature is also taking power from supply or kva it is apparent power is taken by armature winding from supply only okay so now we ha we have some lose on power factor this is q by p okay so this is q by p here because some components are going in maintaining the flux in the machine that is flux in the machine and the rest of the component is going to maintain the power so that is the case and of course if it is the case then it is under excited and lagging power factor you got this point it was lagging because our meter is also providing reactive power yes right yes yes correct okay thank you thanks any doubt in this any more Oh, 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 oh,